there are two scriptures that clearly reveal the mandate of the believer that means regardless our individual assignments in the fivefold business corporate world we have a universal mandate as believers two scriptures never forget this for the rest of your life john chapter 1 from verse 6 to 7 john chapter 1 from verse 6 to 7 please help us media john chapter 1 okay it says here there was a man sent from god where did he come from sent from god that means you only pass through the womb of your mother but you were sent from god john 1 verse 6 there was a man sent from god everybody say i was sent from god say it with understanding i was sent from god i don't care the biological activities that are around how you arrived sent from god through the womb of a woman sent from god through the yoruba territory sent from god through the Igbo or south south territory sent from god through the northern territory you are not a northerner you are not a southerner you are not an easterner you are sent from god and you pass through that territory so the greater part of your consciousness should be where you came from not where you are passing through are we together there was a man sent from god when he arrived the earth they gave him a name they called him john verse 7 why did he come the same came for a witness the same came for what is it ever written here that he came to be a prophet so why do you call him a baptist and a prophet the bible says he came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through his witness might believe this is our corporate mandate there was a man sent from god when he arrived the earth they called him joshua selman and the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light that through his witness in the area of the fivefold men might believe there is a man sent from God who came as whatever it is when he arrived the earth they named him whatever name they gave him he came as a witness to the light that all men through the business and finance being the geography of his witness that ultimately men might believe you do not define yourself by the geography of your witness you define yourself by this corporate mandate say i am a witness a witness has the singular assignment of validating a claim a witness is not necessary until there is a contention over a claim satan is there proving that jesus is not lord and forcing nations to disbelieve in jesus and he sent you in business he sent you in ministry he sent you in politics he sent you in the fivefold what you call the pulpit ministry sent you as an evangelist a prophet a pastor an apostle all together the corporate mandate is the same we have people in this church working in the worship team working in the media working in the protocol they are more conscious about the goal of the church than the geography of their assignment is that true the protocol is motivated by the same motivation the media person is motivated by the welfare all motivated by the same motivation to ultimately see that God's purposes as committed to the man of God is effectively executed when a businessman starts thinking like a pastor and a pastor starts thinking like a businessman when a politician starts thinking like a man of God and a man of God starts thinking there is the sharing of that understanding because they are ultimately motivated by the same goal that all men through him might believe Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you he says there again Jesus is speaking that you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth say i am a witness 
the geography what you call your assignment is simply the geography of your witness if you are a man of god you are a witness using the pulpit as a platform if you are a businessman you are a witness using commerce and business and real estate and whatever it is as a platform if you are a politician you are a witness using the platform of politics and governance and the parliament as a platform are we together now if you are an academician for instance you are using the platform of academics very very important because many people you see please look up let me have your attention many people do not understand that being a witness is greater than the geography of the witness so you say i am a businessman you are right to the layman i am a preacher you are right to the layman i am a politician you are right to the layman but from a kingdom perspective you are none of these things you are a witness in politics you are a witness in governance you are a witness as a preacher are we together now you are a witness as a family man a father a mother you are a witness as whoever and whatever so your witness the consciousness of you being a validator and a defender of the claims of God is greater than the geography if you are with me say amen, amen. somebody shout I am a witness if you understand that you are not just a businessman but a witness as a businessman what you will do with that money will be different from someone who is just a businessman if you understand that you are not just a preacher you are a witness using the platform of preaching the way you will preach will be different the carelessness and the recklessness that happens around sadly around ministry business politics is because people do not understand that they are witnesses a witness is a validator that means everything you say everything you do is supposed to be proving the reality of the lordship of jesus christ is someone learning this morning hallelujah